Ready to fly to Mauritius, little kitty? Yay! Kitty wants to see Dodo birds! Well, unfortunately, that won't be possible, as they went extinct a long time ago. Really? How? Well, let me tell you this tragic story by answering an important question. How Dodo birds went extinct. Zoom in! According to legend, the term dodo may have originated from the Portuguese word dodo, which meaning fool or crazy. So, it's no wonder many believed that the dodo's foolishness might have played a role in their extinction. However, recent studies have revealed a more complex truth behind the disappearance of these unique creatures. And what is that truth? To unravel this mystery, let's journey back in time to about 20 million years ago when certain tropical pigeons flying from Southeast Asia landed on an island to the east of Madagascar. They stayed there for a while but then they noticed a volcanic eruption creating a brand new island. That island is what we now know as Mauritius. Some of these pigeons made this place their new home and with time evolved into a completely distinct species known as dodo birds standing about 3 feet tall and weighing up to 40 pounds. Their feathers were mostly grey to brown but they had a patch of light colored feathers on their backsides. Their beaks were quite big, about 8 to 9 inches long, and usually yellowish or greenish. In their newfound habitat, the dodos coexisted with various other species of birds, fruit bats, and tortoises, none of which posed a threat as potential predators. With no need to fear being hunted, the dodos gradually lost interest in flying, considering it an energy-consuming activity, which resulted in the shrinking of their flight muscles. And because they were among the island's largest animals, they roamed freely, feeding on fruits and seeds, and even crafted their nests on the ground for comfort. They knew that nothing could harm them, not even extreme weather or natural disasters that frequently hit the island. But a few millennia later, things took a drastic turn when in 1598, Dutch sailors arrived at the island of Mauritius. Unaccustomed to the presence of humans, the dodo lacked fear, approaching these strangers with innocent curiosity. In return, the hungry sailors greeted them with swords and knives, intending to turn these birds into roasted meals. However, humans alone were not the reason behind their extinction. It was also the pets they brought with them, such as dogs, goats, pigs, and even macaw monkeys. And let's not forget the rats who hitchhiked on these ships and quickly infested the natural island. Soon these animals started grazing on the fruits and plants, making it difficult for dodos to compete with them. Additionally, as dodos made nests on open ground, it became easier for rats and monkeys to prey on the birds' eggs and chicks. Eventually, dodos were unable to win this competition and went extinct less than a century after the Dutch's arrival. For a long time, dodos were considered mythical until their fossil remains were discovered in the early 1900s by amateur naturalist Etienne Thirio. Today, the tragic end of the dodo serves as a reminder of the irreversible consequences of human actions on the delicate web of life. So, let's not repeat the mistake and promise to take care of all plants and animals. Trivia time! Did you know the dodo bird was featured in Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? Yes, this caused the general population to become intrigued by this extinct bird. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Vibha Rote. 
Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Why are you packing armor? To save dodos. Never mind.